And the album of the year goes to... Midnight by Taylor Swift. What? what? I, I won? What? What? I just went, no, oh my gosh, what? So this past weekend was the Grammys and I really wasn't watching like that, but I was keeping up with the live coverage through Twitter. So I was looking at everybody's opinions, all the outfits, the dresses, the performances, and I thought it was cute until I saw Beyonce trending online. And I'm like, uh-oh, what is going on? What's happening? What did this lady do now? Did she drop the visuals? You know, because Beyonce, you have a tendency of getting my emotions all riled up and having me panic every other weekend. So I'm thinking, do I have to get some money from my savings and transfer it to my checkings? What is she about to drop? Act two maybe, but it was only because her, Jay-Z, and their daughter Blue Ivy had showed up to the award, maybe towards the end of the whole thing, right? So I'm like, whew, okay, so my bank account, you know, it could live to see another day <laughs> for a couple of weeks, right? And I like how she was trying to sneak in and blend in with the rest of the pedestrians because they cut back from commercial and we see her clapping at something. And I'm like, Beyonce, we know it's you underneath that big ass cowboy hat, give it up. <laughs> But she looks so nice and I'm looking at her like, <laughs> where's the visuals? Blue Ivy, she looks so, so pretty. And it is crazy to me that it feels like just yesterday we watched her at the award show at the VMAs, I believe, where she was, you know, singing. She dropped the mic, she opened up the jacket and she rubbed her stomach to announce that she was pregnant with Blue Ivy. And now fast forward, we're here. And the concept of time is just crazy to me, right? But she looks so pretty. So the focus went from Beyonce to Jay-Z and some speech he gave. And I'm like, okay, what is going on? I have to find the clip I watched the whole thing and it was very interesting because they were initially there because Jay-Z was there to receive an award by the title of the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award which that right there is already questionable why is any award show you know naming any award after Dr. Dre you know, did we forget the history of, of abuse he has, the domestic violence history that he has, but yet we're naming awards after him and Jay-Z has the nerve to get up on stage and say, oh, thank you to Dr. Dre, I'm here to receive this, instead of denying it. And on top of that, Dr. Dre is sitting right there in the front row. Like, it's just so interesting to me how Hollywood or the industry or these award shows, they pick and choose because they want to, you know, they're, they're not inviting Chris Brown to anything, and rightfully so, because fuck Chris Brown forever, but then Dr. Dre, he's right there. So Jay-Z gets on stage to accept the award and in his speech, he's talking about DMX, another rapper that back in the day, he released two number one albums but didn't receive any Grammys for it. So because of that, Jay-Z decided to boycott the Grammys at the time, but he still watched on the television. But then this is where things get interesting because he's like, you know, we still love you. And I'm assuming that he's talking about the Grammys itself. You know, we still love you. We love the Grammys, but we just want you to get it right. You know, we want you to get it right and we get it that music is subjective. But this young lady over here and I'm like, uh-oh. Uh, who's he talking to? Who's he talking about? And of course, the camera pans over right to Beyonce and she's standing there like... I do wonder if she knew that he was going to make the speech about her ahead of time or if he just sprung it on her last minute. I could imagine them in the car on their way to the Grammys. He probably gave her a heads up like, hey B, just letting you know as soon as I get on stage, I'm making my speech about you and how you should have album of the year already. She probably told them, go get him Jay. <laughs> So he continues, you know, she has won every single Grammy, but she has never won album of the year. And I know that music is objective. And I know most of you in the crowd are going to feel robbed that you don't get a Grammy tonight. And honestly, most of you shouldn't even be in the categories. <laughs> I'm like, I Spice, he's talking about you. <laughs> and he, he starts chuckling, right? And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I get, I start uh, telling the truth and I'm nervous. Same Jay-Z, same, except I don't need to get nervous. And he ends it off by saying, you know, we gotta keep showing up. We gotta keep showing up no matter what until people notice us, until people notice our accolades, until we're like chairman, until we have all these type of things or whatever. And I didn't agree with that part of the speech, but I do agree that Beyonce, Beyonce has had every single Grammy in every other category, but she has never won album of the year. And at this point, she's never gonna get it. And if she does get it, it's gonna be one of those petty, here Beyonce, take your damn album of the year Grammy. Like stop bitching, stop complaining, stop using your husband to get on stage to make you feel entitled. 
just take your Grammy, now you have everything. So be quiet. So it's just not even gonna feel right. Like if she does win something for some reason, if she drops act two any day now, you know, and it just so happened to win album of the year next year, it's just gonna feel like, oh, okay, you're just doing that because Jay-Z got on stage and you wanna make him happy, you wanna make Beyonce happy, you want them to come back to the to your award show because you know she draws in viewers, so. And it's crazy even looking back at last year's Grammys, how she was nominated for Album of the Year then for her iconic album, Renaissance, yet she still lost to Harry Styles. And I'm a fan of Harry, I like his music, I like his album, Harry's World, but to tell us that that won over Renaissance is crazy to me, like, where's the judging? You know, Renaissance was literally a trending topic every every other day, all for a year last year, even to this day, like we're still waiting on act two and yet it's still lost. Even her tour, her tour became a whole fashion show and it had so much hype, it had so much conversation, even the celebrities were crazy about it. And I'm sure that Harry had his own hype for his album and his tour, but it didn't compare to Beyonce. And let's take it further and put Renaissance on the back burner, right? Lemonade, she wrote a whole album talking shit about her husband and how he cheated on her and she still didn't get anything. It caused all that conversation just to get nothing. Let's take it further to her other album, Four. Well, Four, you know, Four, I mean, you know, we're going to skip that one. That one's understandable. But, you know, I still like it, Beyonce, but <laughs> I am Sasha Fierce. You know, that was also a very trendy uh, uh, album. It's one of my favorite albums. It's very nostalgic to me. You know, Single Ladies, it caused a whole trend worldwide. Everybody was doing the, you know, the dance and everything. And yet it still didn't get anything. Like, and again, it's not like you have to be up Beyonce's ass or, you know, you have to bow down to her, you know, kind of or anything. You don't have to be like a stan or a super fan or whatever to see any of this. But I mean, it's, it's just right. At this point, what more does she have to prove? What more does she have to, you know, bring to the table to actually get this award? That's why I didn't agree with how Jay-Z said, we have to keep showing up. We have to keep showing up, you know, until they notice us, until they notice us. No, the Grammy or whoever, you know, vote the peers or whatever, whoever votes for these you know, wins or whatever, you know, F them, Jay-Z and Beyonce. At the end of the day, the, the crowd, the population or whatever, they know that Beyonce is the queen. <laughs> they know that what's rightfully hers and what rightfully should be hers is hers. And that's all that matters. You shouldn't have to seek approval from the Grammys or these award shows when you already know that you're on top. They could award Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, we'll get to you in a second because that's the other conversation too, how Taylor Swift you know, let me get my towel. Hold on. <laughs> because Taylor Swift, similar to Harry Styles, you know, I can't shit on her completely because I do like some of her songs, a handful of her songs, actually. But it's just something about Taylor Swift that just comes off so, so, so phony, so fake. And it's just, it's not her. I don't know her personally. All I know is what I see on TV. But I mean, at every damn award show and every damn appearance it is always... You know, and the winner for album of the year is Taylor Swift. And this is Taylor. Huh? G Willikers, what? And then she gets on the microphone, right? Uh, oh, oh, uh, wow, this was so unexpected. I, 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 oh my God, wow, uh, gosh. <laughs> Like, I just rolled my eyes so hard on her. I'm like, you're so fake and phony and annoying. Like, you know, she knows that she's going to win these awards by the fall. You know, I, I don't get it. You know, I honestly, and I swear, I promise that I'm not trying to sound like a hater because I do like some of her music, but I just do not see the hype. I don't see the hype. I am so sorry. I had conversations with people about this many times about, you know, do you see it? Because I can't see it. And I try to see it from different perspectives, but... I just don't see it. Beyonce, and again, it's not that I'm up Beyonce's ass, but I see the hype with Beyonce. And if her music is trash, her music is trash to me. You know, luckily it's not. But, you know, for Taylor Swift, I just don't see the hype. I just don't get it. You know, just even the lyrics. I mean, her songs are catchy. Yeah, I'll give it to her. But, I mean, the lyrics, it's just like, you know, she, she sings about like, you know, one day, you know, I, I woke up and I made a, a peanut butter jelly sandwich and... You know, I walked down the street and it was sunny. And then people go crazy over that. <laughs> you know, I was, I, I remember when she first came out with teardrops on my guitars. 
that was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite songs. And I was on, you know, on board with the whole Taylor Swift. I was like, okay, I like her music. I like her country music. And then I'm not sure where everything shifted. I saw the conversation online saying that the second that at the VMAs when Kanye West interrupted her and said, oh, you know, Beyonce had the, the best album of all time, you know, that that's where everything shifted. And then that's when everybody hopped on this whole Taylor Swift, like, oh, poor Taylor, poor Taylor. And she kind of ran with that. Maybe that's where things shifted. And I feel like at that at this point, I believe it. So the fact that she has won, like, what, four times already for these albums, the last one being, what, uh, Evenings, Mornings, oh, Midnights, you know, and I, I didn't hear any hype about it. I mean, yeah, her, her tour compared to Beyonce's was neck and neck but again i just it, it's crazy again because taylor swift she could do the bare minimum but beyonce she has to go she has to jump over all these hurdles and yet she doesn't get anything and then on top of that not to put mariah carey in it but i'm 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 not a stand of anybody but i come very close to mariah carey <laughs> You know, I think I'm borderline a lamb because Mariah Carey, she is my queen. Beyonce is my queen too, but Mariah Carey, that's my mother. <laughs> you know, the fact that she, I believe she did not win album of the year for the emancipation of Mimi. You know, that right there, that's just a robbery itself. And, you know, it, it's insane. But regardless, Taylor Swift, right? So she wins the album of the year. She acts fake shot. She's like... <gasps> Oh, oh my god what like oh gosh oh, let me faint like let me go on stage she gets on stage celine dion right the iconic celine dion the my heart will go on you know we all know what's going on with her physically and you know what's going on with her her health and everything the fact that she managed to find the strength to get on stage and present to taylor swift album of the year and taylor she gets on stage she hugs everybody she's going crazy you know the fake crazy she's like oh my god what, what, what? i can't believe this she grabs the grammy from celine dion she looks at her like oh thank you old bitch anyways and then she gets on the microphone and she doesn't even thank her she doesn't hug her she does not even acknowledge who celine dion is like that is celine dion again she took time of her day and you know going what she's going through you know to be on stage with you and that's how you treat her celine dion i'm not sure if she noticed but she was looking at her like oh, okay then and then she got off stage and taylor swift again she just got back on the mic she did her thing or whatever she announced a new album coming out and that's annoying but it's just crazy the disrespect like to celine dion you know and then we see pictures after of both of them hugging she's like leaning on her or whatever blah 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 yeah 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 that's all damage control like taylor swift you knew what you were doing and, you know, people want to say, oh, maybe she didn't know who Celine Dion, blah, 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 you know, her age or whatever. No, because I know who Celine Dion is and I'm four years younger than Taylor Swift. So that's no excuse. And, you know, speaking of age, there was another thing on, on Twitter. I wish I could remember who tweeted that, but it is crazy because it really put things into perspective. It said, it's funny that Adele and Taylor Swift, they're, they're one year apart, yet Adele's music is treated like a whole different way than Taylor Swift. Adele, she gets treated like a grown woman, while Taylor Swift, she gets treated like a little girl. And as soon as I read that, I'm like, yeah, it makes perfect sense. I had to Google their age and yeah, Adele's 35 and Taylor Swift is 34 years old. And I'm like, wow, Taylor Swift, yet you act like a little ass girl. Like she acts like a teenager, you know, like, Oh, oh my oh my god what what, what, what I, I can't believe this like ha ah, i just acting stupid every at every award show it's just so annoying i know i know i sound like a hater it is what it is but i can't stand it i'm like stop you know on top of that she won over SZA over SZA's uh SOS album and SZA she's another one I'm a huge 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 fan of SZA I cannot listen to her music like that frequently without wanting to cry I have to stop myself because she really does her music specifically I don't think that nobody has ever touched me emotionally the way her music does like her music really does something to me and whew the fact that that album lost over Midnight's is a bigger joke because Snooze was playing everywhere. How can I snooze and miss the moment? You just too important. Nobody, nobody like you do. I can't move. <laughs> You know, even in the music video, she was giving a robot a lap dance. Like, what more can you want? Actually, that sounds like a good idea for Valentine's Day for next week. But you know, what more can you want? And she's still lost. Like, it's just, it's so, it's so insane to me. But, you know, I guess Taylor Swift, she announced a new album. I believe it was called, like, The the Poetry, The Room of Poetry or something like that or whatever. I'm sure it's going to win album of the year again next year. Surprise, surprise. And, 
just so annoying, so fake. And the Super Bowl is coming up this upcoming Sunday, I believe. And I know she's going to be there because her boyfriend is on one of the teams. And I know if they win... I, I'm calling it now. I know if they win, even if they lose, she's going to be in the crowd like, a touchdown, a touchdown. Like she's going to be like that the whole entire time and they're just going to keep panning to her every five seconds. But, you know, that's the Taylor Swift hype and I, just, I, just, I don't get it. Do some of you get it? Are any of you Swifties or Swiffer or sweeping or whatever, whatever she calls herself. But let me know what you all thought about this topic down in the comments. Bye, everybody. How can I snooze and miss the moment? You just too important. Bye, everybody. <laughs>